Back to our storm watch coverage as we continue to track this storm. Lonnie, not a monster storm, but we've been a little rusty. First no, storm you, in a season. you betcha, and we Out haven't had practice. anything, KJ. We've only picked up two tents so far in Central Park, and this will be more than that. Now, right now, if you look outside, we have some snow falling in spots, not in New York City right now where it's 35 degrees, but... 35 not showing snow in the picture. If you go up higher than that picture, look at the radar picture. We've got snow over New York City, over Manhattan, but you got to get up to about 3,500 feet or so. What that does, it's just like when you put ice cubes into a glass of water to make the water colder. You put snow in the upper levels. It starts to cool down that column of air, making the whole column more receptive to snowfall at the surface, and that's going to happen. All right, we will be getting snow out there. Take a peek at how we, the computer models are handling everything. Right now, this computer model is a little behind schedule. It's showing the snow right here at 11 p.m. Well, the snow is actually more like right about here, okay? So it's running a little bit behind schedule, but watch how everything sort of merges. Here we are at 3.30 in the morning. Now, we've been saying around 4 o'clock is when the city gets into its toughest snowfall rates because that's when these dark blue colors will start moving over the city. You see the merger from that offshore system and the system that we have inland. 4 o'clock, I think you're into the heaviest snow. You'll deal with that right through the start of your morning commute. Here you are, 7 a.m. Some spots already starting to dry out at 7 a.m., but the snow is still there for the city and points east. That's at 7 a.m. Now you look at your picture at 10.30. It's basically exited for the most part. The east end of Long Island and patches of clearing sky develop and then you'll get more clear sky by the time you get to the late afternoon hours. Here's 4 p.m. And it's going to get <laughs> actually pretty decently clear for Saturday, but it's cold out there on Saturday morning. I'll show you some of those numbers in just a bit, but first we talk about how much snow we're going to pick up. The GFS, the Global Forecasting Solution, is saying anywhere from three and a half inches to uh, shy of five and a half inches. So real uniform, right? Everybody in that like so that three to five inch range. Well, this is not a forecast. This is a tool for Giorgio and I to put together a forecast for you. And the reason why I make an adjustment here, and we were talking about this, whenever you see this dark blue color, that's six inches or more of snow. And boy, it's, it's right there, like around Block Island or so. So who's to say that's not going to push a little bit more, clip the east end of Long Island, maybe it clips also the Jersey Shore area. So those are the areas where I would pop my numbers up a bit. Overall, I still think a widespread three to five. Maybe the East End, maybe the Jersey Shore could see a five to seven inch range. And it's also right in line with what the National Weather Service is saying. They're saying that's where you'd find a winter storm warning as opposed to the winter weather advisory. Again, it's not our biggest storm ever. It's the biggest one we've had so far this year. I said it's going to be very cold Saturday morning. 19 degrees on the thermometer in Central Park. You've got a wind chill about 9 or 10 degrees, so it will feel like the single digits for most everybody out there. Could even be feeling like negative numbers well north and west. Across the board, again, Saturday is that super cold day. The afternoon only reaches 33. Sunday, another chance for precip. Maybe some wintry mix to start off, but it becomes too warm. It becomes rain uh, later on in the day. And then you're cold next week, 36, 24 twos. That's a particularly cold day right there, only maxing out at 24 degrees. But right now, it's all about the snow that is going to be falling, mostly while you're sleeping and you start your morning commute. So it's the timing. I think that's really bad about this. You know, folks need to get places in the morning. This will make it problematic. And just take your time. Yep. Thanks, Lonnie. All right.